Okay, can we now continue? Good morning, everyone. Once again, we are in the group six. The topic is international organizations by Shazelina Z. Abidin. So, international organizations are increasingly important in helping us govern our addition, govern our world, our world. Today's international system is made up of cacophony or noise of different voices and interests. In addition to states, there are also non-governmental organizations, multinational corporations, and hybrid organizations, which are a mix of all different categories which be discussed in this morning. So, international organization is composed primarily of sovereign states, serve many diverse functions, including collecting information and monitoring trends. Example, Anike, World Meteorolo Meteorological Organization and Delivering Services and Aid, which is World Health Organization and also providing forums of bargaining, the European Union. So, other, other international organizations that can encounter in our daily lives is Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, IMF, which is International Monetary Fund, and many more international organizations that everyone may encounter in the daily living. So, magbasa kung isa ka scenario sa inyong nag, ano siya, nag, nagpakita siya sa upat, bali upat ka international organization sa kanilang siya nga time or kanilang moment. So, imagine stepping off a plane into a foreign country as you disembark, you switch on your phone to check the messages that may you that may have came through while you were in transit. You follow the sign that directs you to the airport's exit, clear immigration, and then pick up your luggage at the designated carousel. You then he head straight for the nothing to declare green lane to exit the airport. So, these routines, actions would have already brought you into contact with the work of the at least four different international organizations. The aircraft that you arrived it would be, have been one of the many planes under the International Air Transport Association or IATA and regulated by standards set by the International Civil Avi Aviation Organization or ICAO that you were able to use your phone to check messages would have been courtesy of the work of the International Telecommunication Union or ITU and your customs clearance would have been facilitated by the Kyoto Convention set by the World Customs Organization or WCO to simplify the customs process. So, in this scene, makita niyo ang upat ka organization nga ma-involve sa isa lang ka or isan sa gamay lang nga oras sa isa ka tao nga labi na karon kay in nata sa crisis nata ay kining dia tawag na more on technologies na takaron so dia ta ba maano sa ITU sa gamit man tag mga gadget phones ba para mag-send og mga messages to contact somewhere nga ay kanang mga lagi nga places para makontact nato sila <clears throat> so next there are just some of the ways in which International organizations form a natural part of everyone's daily lives. Nga bisan sa bisan asa nga organization bisan gani sa pagtindog sa balay na organization nga ma-involve kay na may karon sa bisan unsa nga gagmay nga liok sa tao na organization nga makatabang para nga mas direct or mas kining easier na lang sa tuwa. Ah. Bali og oh, kining wala tay taka sa mga international organizations nga naata karon. Lisod pud imaginon nga sa pangadlaw-adlaw wala ning international system which form our natural na sa atong pagpuyo sa kalibutan. So, buto ako ningon nga especially nowadays, high technologies na kaita through media and internet, maka-communicate ta sa uban bisan layo or bisan kining unsa pa nga place basta na internet connections. <clears throat> so, next slide. International governmental organization it is established by a treaty that acts as a charter creating the group. So, international governmental organization is referred as an intergovernmental organization. It's an organization which a member of membership of only states. 
This organization is usually founded upon treaty or a multinational agreement and consists of more than two states. Member states determine the way in which the organization is run, vote within the organization and provide its funding. So, member states determine the way in which the organization is run, vote within the organization and provide its funding. <clears throat> Kini siya kay na-build siya during ay paguman sa Second World War, uh, 1945. Iyahang prime example ani kay ang United Nations. Ang, ay, joke. ang prime example sa international organization is ang United Nations with almost universal, universal memberships. On the states can be members of the United Nations. Bali, ang ginaimod din kay ang ano lang, Ang only states can be members sa uh, United Nations and membership is valid because it uh, confers upon the members. International recognition. <clears throat> As of 2017, there are 193 UN member states. Pero, dili. But it is not important to note that a small na number of states are not members. So, example, ani kay ang Taiwan. Naa sila kanang balik-balik sila nga ga the request sa membership sa UN pero ginablock sila sa China tungod kay ang China naguna una nga ang Taiwan kay dili pa sovereign territory and does not recognize it as an independent nation so Taiwan sa kung ikaw nga country gusto nimo kining support or kining membership magbalik ning gid so of course ang ang isa ka nation kailangan ni Japan once Japan nimo mag anang mag ano og kaning membership sa United Nations kay this will means that the international community fully accept its sovereignty so that Taiwan kay isa ka example sa uh, kaning unresolved for unresolved for decades due to the major major role that China plays within the United Nations as one of its most pow powerful members so kay ang Taiwan di ba ang example kay Taiwan this would ang example kay Taiwan Taiwan Then ang ihang babag sa iha para makasulod siya sa United Nations as ma member kay ang China nga one of its kining most powerful nga isa ka member. So lisod jud nga i-push nila ang ilang self labi na kay naay isa ka powerful nga gaan sa ilaga block. <clears throat> Next. Um, Kani siya kay report ni siya ni Nalia pero di man siya ka report so ako na lang ako ako mag report. The, there are six main organs of the United Nations: the General Assembly, Security Council, Economic and Social Council, Trusteeship Council, and Secretariat of International Court of Justice. So first is the General Assembly is the largest organ of the United Nations. All members of the United Nations are members of the General Assembly. Each state can send up of five representative, pero dili sila entitled nga magvote. This ensures that all the member states have equal status. Um, ang Ang General Assembly kay na siya function na gina-follows. Kani sila kay ang um, number one is it can discuss many matter affecting international peace and security. It makes recommendations for peaceful settlement of disputes. It passes the budget of the United Nations. It elects the non-permanent members of the Security Council. It also elects the members of the Economic and Social Council and the Trusteeship Council. It admits new members to the United Nations on the recommendation of the Security Council. The Security Council and the General Assembly elects the members of the International Court of Justice. In recent years, the General Assembly has increased its power through a resolution called Uniting for Peace Resolution. The General Assembly can make recommendations for collective measures, including the use of armed forces. In case the Security Council is unable to take a decision during the crisis, the decisions are taken in the General Assembly by a simple majority vote. So, na sila voting bali kini sa isa ka 
decision sa kaninga General Assembly na aslay gina ano nga majority vote. In some important cases of two thirds majority vote is required for taking a decision. <clears throat> Next is the Security Council. It's the only organ that can impose sanctions on states or deploy military forces on behalf of the international community to keep the peace in a certain area, region, or country. Kay ang bisan ang United Nations kaya wala sila ilang very own military forces, but it can master military and police personnel through contributions by its members. This United Nations. Um, the Security Council consists of 15 members, pero five lang ang ilang permanent members, namely the Britain, China, kung ganina nga, mas power, nga powerful siya nga country, France, Russia, and the USA. And that napod siya, 10 non-permanent members are elected by the General Assembly for, for a term of two years. Muto siya ang katong naasa uh, General Assembly nga kailangan nila ang voting. So each member has one vote. Decisions are taken by a majority vote of at least nine members, including the five permanent members. Each permanent member has the power to reject or, or veto a these permanent members would lead to a cancellation of the resolution. So, nang Kung isa po na ay negative nga, ay isa ka negative nga vote gikan dito sa permanent na member sa United Nations nga country, makancel ang ilahang gina, ano nga, ang ilang resolution. So, the council is powerless to act if there is such a veto by any permanent member, although it may be supported by all the other permanent members. So, the economic, next is economic and social council. Bisan part, uh, basta part ka sa United Nations. It is mainly concerned with the management of the United Nations social, economic, and cultural and humanitarian activities. Iyang function sa Economic and Social Council is to promote economic and social progress, to solve problems relating to health, illiteracy, unemployment, and etc., to coordinate the functions of the agencies of the United Nations, like the International Monetary Fund, the International Labor Organization, the ILO, the Food and Agri Agriculture Organization, FAO, the World Health, Health Organization, the WHO, and the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, the UNESCO. Last is the United Nations International Children's Fund, the UNICEF. So, Next is the Trusteeship Council. Trusteeship Council was set up immediately after the Second World War. It was set up to ensure the proper administration and development of those areas, areas, areas of the world that were under foreign rule. The council was also to take steps to help them attain self-government by the year 1994 and all the trust territories had attained self-government, the council will now meet only if required to do so. <clears throat> the uh, Secretariat. The Secretariat is the principal administrative department of the United Nations. It is headed by the, the Secretary General, appointed by the, appointed by the General Assembly on the recommendation of the Security Council for a term of five years. He can be re-elected ang, ang secretariat. The staff of the secretariat is appointed by the secretary general bali ang <coughs> ang staff ang staff sa secretariat kay gina-appoint siya sa mga secretary general that they that they are chosen from among the 192 members of countries. 
The Secretary General holds a key position in the administration of the affairs of the United Nations. He organizes conferences, oversees peacekeeping operations, draft reports on economic and social trends, prepares studies on human rights, mediates in international disputes, and prepares budget estimates. It is to be noted that the, the United Nations can achieve success only if the member states cooperate with it. So, kani siya ang kaning six main organs kay kinakailangan siya o kining cooperation sa kada members or katong gina na involved na members sa United Nations para mahimo nga success ang kaning ilang ilang uh, ilang, ilang, ilang ilang organization. All member countries must abide by the policies and programs of the United Nations if the letter is to succeed as a peacekeeping organization. So, International Court of Justice. The International Court of Justice is located in the The International Court of Justice is consists of 15 judges from different countries elected by the General Assembly and the Security Council, um, they they are elect they are elected for a nine-year term. No two judges can be citizens on the same country. Ang ano din ni kay naasila fifteen ka judge sa different countries pero dili sila pwede magka magkaroon o kaya ng say ay sinay dua ka judge sa isa lang ka kan the same country. So, ang function ang sa ang function sa International Court of Justice is to to settle disputes brought to it by member nations to provide legal advice to any organ of the United Nations on request. Next slide. <clears throat> um, IG. International organization or IGOs is helpful in appreciating the difference in global governance with IGOs bring to our international system and global government which does not currently exist. Virtually all IGOs are intergovernmental. So intergovernmental organization is helpful in appreciating the different global in different in global governance. So, virtually all IGOs are intergovernmental organization. Intergovernment are intergovernmental. This means that the their ilahang power kay nag is sa government sa government sa bali sa ilang member states dili sa kaning organization. States are free to leave the organization or even in some cases to ignore them. There are usually consequences for both actions, but the fact remains that even in extreme cases, when our organization is like the, the United Nations imposes sanctions or authorities who are mm, international governmental organization do not rule over states. Such punitive measures are only possible when the members of the United Nations Security Council are in accord. Therefore, the power rests with the states themselves, especially the more, power, the more powerful states. And there are regular examples of states reject, rejecting a certain course of action because it was not in, the in, in, it, it was not in their national interest. So, next. So, good morning, everyone. Madulgan ko? Good morning, everyone. Yes, Madulgan. Oh, okay, right. So, so, to start na ko, this is my part. So, the question is, what if an international governmental organization is not intergovernmental? So, that will be belong to the, what we so-called, 
supranational. So, supranational power means that an organization is actually able to govern its members and have a degree of independence from its member state. So, kani siya is kanang supranational ang saka non-governmental non organization or intergovernmental organization in the sense that they're able to stand independent, independently. So, non-international non-governmental go, um, organization are the ASEAN, NATO, African Union, European Union, and Organization of American States. Mga siyang mga samples sa mga non-intergovernmental organization. But, Abidin focuses on European Union for they are unique in, in its own right. So, European Union has 27 member countries. So, the first member are, that joined its last general one, 1958, which is the Belgium, France, Germany, Italy, Luxembourg, and Netherlands. In general one, 1973, we have Denmark, Ireland, and United Kingdom. But, last January 31, 2020, United Kingdom left the European Union. And in January 1, 1981, we have the Greece. And in January 1, 1986, we have Portugal and Spain. And January 1, 1995, we have Austria, Finland, and Sweden. In January 1, 1995, 2000, we have Cyprus, Republic, Estonia, Hungary, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Slovakia, Slovenia. And in January 2007, we have Romania. And in January 2007, we have Croatia. So, all the members of the European Union, they have not the members because of their currency, which is the you with the European Union. Unlike sa, di ba sa ASEAN, we have, bola may kuhan ka ng ASEAN citizens. Ang sa European Union is, na, 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 pwede siya mag-stay sa isa kakashi as long as, kuhan ilang, ilang pina, di ba sa ASEAN, sa ilang, passport. Like, as a lie, free mag-live for three months at, and, Di Asia niya, kailangan para mga kagdagan kaya kuti-kuti para makastay lang pa sa isa kakanchi sa mga members sa Asia, which is the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. So, European Union is unique because unlike the United Nations and other international governmental organizations, it can actually be said to exercise a degree of sovereignty over its members via lawmaking powers in certain areas that its members agreed to relocate to the supranational super level. It, has, it also has its own currency, which together with other capabilities, one of the currencies the euro, it gives, it, gives, gives it some of the powers otherwise only seen in states. So this is not without controversy in Europe, and there is a rising tide of discontent with the growing power of the European Union and a desire in some political circles to weaken or even dissolve the organization so that more of the powers return to the states, which is the Brexit, Brexit, Brexit debate. When the British interesting, when the when British public voted in a 2016 ref, referendum to leave the European Union, raised many of these issues and is an interesting is instance of the idea of supranationalism being challenged. Living, living aside bigger organization, like the European Union and the United Nations, international governmental organizations are typically more specific in nature, often dealing with just one particular issue or a specific geographical area. The work they do is often clear from their name. So, say, pasabot anak. So, magbuat sila ka ng kuhan, ka ng, alam, mag-resolve lang issue, which is, sa nga lang, na maka-benefits ang 
organization or ang European Union ba? Or ang United Nations? Listen po, magbat-bat lang sila nga. Wala, mag- wala din sila ka-benefit. So, all of us will remember that an international governmental organization does not have its own fixed secretariat, secretariat, which means ang, an international organis- government organization is wala sila ay sakto nga, kahit ka lang, kumbagay lang, office nilang pang nga ilahang halimbak. Ano ba, kana, kana siya, dinaragin siya ang office. Kaila, murag, ang kwansa, based lang sa understanding is that ang um, ilang secretary, which means, ano ba, sa, sa Philippines, as nag-solve ng issue, that's like, kung there is certain na place na dito sila mag-meeting or mag-sabot. The point to remember is that as long as an organization is composed exclusively of states or governments, including government agencies, It is an international governmental organization operating according to the international norms. So, magkwan sila, magbasis sila sa, kung tayo, maghahap sila ba yung sa ilang, kung sa nasa international organization, na? Kanang, ay sila lang mahahap na based on international norms. Halimbawa, sa ASEAN, maghahap sila sa Philippines regarding, or mag-subsidation sa Philippines regarding halimbawa sa farming. So, halimbawa, sila po magtabal sila, ay nag-ikuhan, nag-propose na ilang help kay fishing, na nalisan ang international organization. Di ba? So, dapat mag-base sila sa international norms. These international governmental organizations are outside the United Nations but are almost always tied to the UN in some way or another. International governmental organization on hybrid international organization, international non-governmental organizations or in INGOs are non-governmental organizations that either work at the international level or have international members. And it's, it's international non-governmental organization are a mixed bag. Be best, best described as those organizations that are not intergovernmental or business entities or theories, organization, according to Davis 2014. There is no exact figure for the number of international non-governmental organizations that are current, currently active. So, ang United Nations is nagtala sila 4,000 with consultative status, which may only be a fraction of their true members. So, wala pa rin abalaan kung pila din ang pinaka-active na non-intergovernmental organization nga nga mag-active ba siya as of now. So, let's go to the hybrid organizations. So, um, hybrid organization, organizations are those international organizations whose membership comprises both states and civil society members. The states may be represented by government departments or agencies, while civil society, as we have seen earlier, can be just about anyone or any organization. One such hybrid international organization is the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, or what we so-called IUCN, which deals with primarily with the preservation of the environment, and whose members include government agencies from other countries such as Fiji and Spain, a non-governmental organization from all corners of the globe. Individual members are often experts and affiliated to one of the IUCN's six commissions. The number of hybrid organizations has increased as more and more ships are forged between states and civil society. There is now understanding that hybrid organizations where governments and non-governmental organizations and multi-corporations all have a say can be highly effective because of the rich expertise and the funding that such groupings can be can command. So, our Alba is uh, not a World Health Organization, then the Philippines is now by Department of Health. Mara siya mag, para lang sa kanabase lang sa kanaka, kwan understanding sa hybrid organization, organization, yung sample nga, kwan is ang World Health Organization, then yung satuwa murag, Mga civil society, the Philippines is a world 
ay kanang Department of Health. Next presenter, please. Good morning, Satanan. How international organizations shape our world? One of more visible international non-governmental organizations in the world is the International Red Cross and the Red, the Red Crescent Movement. A non-governmental name is non-profit that function independently, which is NGO, but before, wala pa yung mga organisasyon na makatabong sa panahon sa war or gubot. At unlike karon nga visible kaayo ang Red Cross of Red Crescent, which is ang Red Cross movement of inter international humanitarian is to protect human life and health, to respect all human beings, to prevent and alleviate human suffering. Ang Red Cross, gahatag og shelter, especially to the people na victim of war or natural disaster. We feed and we provide emotional support sa mga biktima. Napod sila'y programa ko nang gayon sila bloodletting o kanang programa para voluntaryong mag-donate to blood. Next slide. Swiss businessman Henry Donat published a book describing the aftermath of the 1859 battle of Solferino, which he had experienced firsthand. He wrote the soldiers were left wounded in the field with no medical care with after the battle had ended. Donat managed to organize the local population into providing assistance to sick wounded in account. Henry Donat can organize the local people to be soldier wants to feed and comfort them, gases niya ang mga sundalong nga nasugatan. Nagpublish siya book ng Memory of Suffering nga nag-advocate for establishment for national relief organization made up of trained volunteers who could offer assistance to war wounded soldier. Mo niya ang Red Cross, mo siya ang founder, Anna. In 1863, Donald founded the International Committee of the Red Cross. Donald's effort to promote prompted push to provide for the care of wounded soldiers in civilian cotton places of conflict. This was the start of Geneva Convention, which all UN members have since ratified. The Geneva Convention was a series of diplomatic meetings that produced a number of agreements, in particular humanitarian law of armed conflict of group of international laws, human treatment of wounded and captured military personnel, medical personnel and non-military civilian war. Ang purpose of Geneva Convention in the additional protocol of body of public international law. The Geneva Convention formed part of the international law that governs humanitarian concern arising out of war and conflict stand as testimony of how international non-governmental organization, in this case the Red Cross, can start the movement that later developed into international norms and standards. A state where once the judge, jury, and executioner of all matters relate, related to the conduct of international affairs under the guise of state sovereignty, the state could act with impunity as citizen lands were concerned. Pero na natigil dahil sa paglabas ng, may panglabas ng mga interes dahil sa international and governmental organization Natanggalin ang impunity o freedom of punishment at mas pinagti na pamantayan ng involved international human rights. Dahil lang sa pagkakasangkot sa mga monarchs, kani mga dako ng mga leader, nga presidente, prime minister, other state leaders, in na may hawak ng immunity form kind of persecution habang sila ay may kapangyarihan. At yan ay nabago, the international, yan ay binago ng international criminal court Criminal Court Law established by the Rome Statute 1998 to pursue to educate individual accused of genocide. Genocide in um, war crimes and crimes against humanity. To let me, uh, Omar Al Bashir of Sudan and Omar Muammar Gaddafi of si Joseph Kony. Si Joseph Kony naging kontrobersya ang taon na 2012 dahil sa pag-give ng thousands of children to use a soldier or sex slave. 
Taong 2005, International Criminal Court Aris Warrant dahil sa 12 counts of crime accused brutalizing civilians and uh, in Northern Uganda ng murder abduction and mutilation and burning property. There are many success stories of how international organization wants tools to be the tools of states have come into their own set and agenda for international community. Nowhere is more evident than the area of environmental preservation. It took combined of effort, vocal non-governmental organization that might have united nations to bring states together for watershed conference, Environment Rio de Janeiro, 1992. Ang Rio de Janeiro 1992, Monang United Nations Conference on Environment and De Development, Earth Summit, the Rio Summit and the Rio Conference. Ang Rio de Janeiro of Earth Summit ay ang Economic Growth Advance of Environmental Protection. Monang due to the Earth Summit state, signed the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, the Convention of Biological Biologic, uh, biological diversity in the convention to combat desertification. Treaties that became important milestone in the fight to save the environment from harmful practices of mankind. The momentum of the Earth Summit generated still has an impact today as nations continue to work together, often acrimoniously, to fight the climate change. Next supporter na. Next slides. <clears throat> so, good morning again. And then, I just want to say sorry about sa background. Kaya naman good ko sa kilid sa kalsada. So, by the way, good morning everyone. And then, for the average citizen, the most important international organization might be, might be those whose work can be filled on the ground. So, when called international organization can provide security trade opportunities, stronger, stronger relationship possibilities, and finally can give them a stronger voice in the international of things international organization can provide smaller state an opportunity for a, a stronger economic power. So one of example of uh, example of uh, international organization is the UN development UN development. Uh, the UN, uh, the UN organiz the UN organization developed develop, uh, UN organization formed in 1965 to help countries climate poverty and achieve sustainable human development and approach to economic growth that emphasize improving the quality of life of all citizens while conserving the environment and natural resources for the future generation, and then uh, we're and also UN organization help to close the gender equality gap that exists in many de na developing nations we're all uh, we're all aware ng um, 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 gender inequality gap is uh, still exist existing may you sa ato up in this case instead instead of states contributing to organization and keep in financially filled it sometimes international governmental organization uh, nang exist ang World Bank to provide the means for the state. Um, one of the <clears throat> uh, um, the big help get Japan sa ang World Bank nang part siya to pursue uh, development policies that would other otherwise not be possible. Uh, however, every uh, every However, the result of this assistance programs have been mixed. So we're all, ano na, we're all aware nga ang World Bank is even Philippines manggod kay Gabaro manggod og money sa sa kwan. Actually, in this in this time, uh, Philippine um, the World Bank approved a uh, 100 million US dollar loan for uh, from the Philippines tungod sa um, sa niya diliman kwartahan na tong nation so nangutang na sad. So World Bank and then however the results of this assistance program have been mixed. They are often continuous as they have sometimes left countries on significant debt or failed to improve their economies. So 
dili talan nga gabayo or gakwan sa World Bank is dili siya positive ang unsa ni siya dili positive ang result yet sometimes napoy uh, napoy other countries nga ga fail to improve ang ilang economies so and and then uh international international organizations next slide yot Jalil. International organizations are the are only as good as the result they yield, but but there is no other way to deny that international organization play a central role in international affairs. So must negro must negro pajudsha during quan. Uh, mas negro pa siya during 20th century when the concept of global governments came of age. Means that uh, international organization in their vast array of forms complete and sometimes positively, positively challenge the role of, role of states. So um, going back to the airport analogy, we may not always be aware of how international organization affect even the most mundane things in our lives, but our lives would be material different without the, without them so nang wala ta siya even a small data uh, even a small gestures wala na to kwan ansa ni siya we're not aware nga mas helpful yud kung kwan ang helpful jud ang international organi organization sa aton nga lives so uh we um, our lives would be material different without so different yud siya lahi yud siya ang aton life without them Jalil and uh, so any other additional Jalil or sahon your group mates? Oh, I'm international. Government organization is not one of the It's not all about one sa karon nga pandemia. They are here working on one another to survive. So to survive from this COVID nineteen. So citizen in every nation do not think or do not ask the government what they can help you. That the disabled people. You think in how ways, in some ways, and how can you help some certain organization to fight against this pandemic? That's all, sir. Okay, thank you. So, questions? Any clarification to the reporters? Yes, Jacob, you're raising your hand. Um, sir. Sir, I... Yes, continue. Uh, sir, I already know the answer related to the question, and I would like to ask the group if... They are familiar, Ani. Um, I would like to ask why this organization or the United Nations does not recognize uh, geographic uh, the regions like Papua New Guinea, Palestine, that uh, does not considered as a country. Okay, answer to Um, wh why the United Nations does not consider uh, Papua New Guinea, Palestine, is Timor as a country? Also, mention na. So, kalimot ko sa, gabi ba na ko sinabasan? Kalimot lang ko siya, pero kwan siya, ang United Nations is kanang na, murag na siya, kanang Something like boundary, Anna. Kalimut ko sa tayo. 
pa ng nasay, di sa mali ko, dawa na sila, murag, di lang lang ko siya, makay matubag ka, pero ako yun lang, isa sa akong nabasan gabi, murag, murag, parang nga sa pag-help sa United Nations, is, na sila yung geographical, sa, sa na, murag, limitation sir ba, or ka ng something, nga, nga, kwan siya nga, din siya ma-appel ang sa pong mong country, pa, pwede din, or ka, and so much more, ka pwede din, hindi na, mara ko nang understand siya, Okay. <clears throat> um, you need to remember that every international organization have a certain qualification as to its uh, method or rules of membership. Okay. For instance, in the, in the United Nations, there are, if you say, how many countries are there in the United Nations? 193 or more? But there are countries in the world. 193, sir, ang uh, actually. 193, yeah. So, but there are countries that are not considered as part or member, rather member, of the United Nations. But rather, some of these are considered as observers. It is because they are not yet able to attain the status of full um, membership. Okay? As the status of an observer, okay? They are not yet fully complied with the requirements to become a full member. So, and also, there is a question, some of these countries who are not yet member of the United Nations, there is a question as to their sovereignty, to their economy. Okay, So, like, for example, <clears throat> in ASEAN, so, always remember, uh, an international organization can be considered Either uh, it depends on its purpose. Like for example, it's a regional organization, ASEAN, African Union, European Union. Okay, an Asian country cannot join uh, European Union, right, or EU. Why? Because it is a regional international organization. So one isa sa mga hindrance. Another one. Asia Pacific Economic Operation, APEC, it is an international organization. But if your country does that, uh, is not located within the Asia Pacific uh, region, you cannot join, you cannot participate, you cannot join as a member, one of the members of that organization. But in the case of the United Nations, there are certain policies or rules or guidelines that man, a country must be able to attain first before they will attain the status of membership. Okay, so like for example, uh, Taiwan. Taiwan is considered as a province of China in the eyes of China, but in the eyes of the United States, it is a an independent country. But not all countries in the world recognize Taiwan as an independent state. So therefore, there is because if you want to be a member of the United Nations, you must be considered as an indep. You must be a full pledged independent country. Well, meaning like uh. Like for example, ni bloat ni ang numbers sa United Nations right after the Second World War. Many countries around the world attained their independence right after the Second World War, because these countries are former colonies of the European empires. Okay, sa una sing kwenta na kapin ang members sa United Nations. Okay, right after when it was established in 1946, but later on, uh, after the Second World War. Uh, these uh, countries in Africa, uh, South America, as well as in Asia, attained the status of independence and attained the status of sovereignty. And therefore, it gives them the freedom to participate or join in any international organization, such as the UN. So because of that, sovereignty, okay, they able to join the United Nations. But as time goes by, UN became strict in terms of this, its membership. Okay? Na strict to sila. Okay? So, like, for example, the same with ASEAN. Like, for example, although uh, in ASEAN, East Timor is part, really, of the geography of the Southeast Asian countries. East Timor is just below the Philippines. In It's a very tiny country in Indonesia. But formerly, uh, it is a province of Indonesia, of which... Uh, na, na kagayin sila independence in 1990s and in 2000. Kumbaga, batan on pagig kayo siya nga nasun. Kumbaga, ina na. So, is still more. Batan on pa kayo. In fact, wala sila sakto nga 
Okay, but anon pa kay siya, what? In terms of economy, gilip pa kay stable lang yun ang economy. Okay? So, muna nga, wala sila gi uh, part sa ASEAN. Okay? In fact, isa sa qualification sa ASEAN, dapat na kay embassy sa Tainan, membro sa ASEAN. Okay? Or yung East Timor, wala sa Uban. Wala siya yung embassy sa Cambodia. Wala siya yung embassy sa Lao. Okay? Kaya dili siya ka-afford mag-establish o iyahang uh, own embassy. So, yun na. The same is true with Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea is a very poor country. The same with East Timor. In fact, our country have been helping Papua New Guinea for, very, for several years. Eh, ano itong mga agricultural products na, like for example, technology, um, these have been uh, donated by our government to Papua New Guinea. Eh, if you have observed before, there is a book so na yung mga citizen or students coming from Papua New Guinea, they've been studying in the university. Okay? That's sign or uh, kumbaga koan, commitment. One of our commitments to the, to the Papua New Guinea government to help them in terms of their educational system, not only educational system, but only agriculture. So, inana. Okay? So, inana siya. Take note also, of course, uh, as a member of the, of the of an international organization, there are various um, privileges, benefits ni muhang mga kuan magi. Okay, na dagan po yah po mga negative negative na mga not so good benefits ni magi because if you are a member of that organization, you will be tied up in terms of their. Um, policies, meaning you should follow, diba? or else you can, you can be kumbaga, mag-ground siya for your dismissal to be part of their organization, then yan. Okay? okay? Are we good? Yes, sir. Are we good, Jacob? Some more question? Sir, I have a question, sir, ba? Yes. Kaling sabo sa European Union, dahil ba'y kalang sa association of agreements with third countries is being developed? Sa nang kwando, pwede daw Kagano ay murag ba? Sabi ni Pete, sabi ni Pete lang bitaw sir. Tiyod ni siya sir kanang pwede ba magkuan ang third country sa European Union? Third world? Third world? Or apil batas? Well, gana sir. EU is an irregional organization meaning katorang ang mga membro na katorang membro sa Aina Aya sa Europe, okay? Continent of Europe. If you're, if the country is not located in Europe, then they can join, but they can uh, establish a relationship with EU, okay? But in terms of membership, they liquid it. Okay, strict on EU in terms na in fact, na yung mga countries sa Europe na dili siya members sa EU, tungkol kay pobre sila, okay? So, inana, yes, you are correct. Katong mga developing country or third world country na nasa Europe, they are not yet a member of EU because of the status of their economy. Okay. That's why. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. That's a good, ano, uh, uh, you really need to read, okay? Read, uh, mga latest uh, news with regards to international relations. Another question? So like for example, uh, the United Nations uh, facilitated the distribution of vaccines. At also COVAX, if you, if you are aware of that, uh, COVAX facility, uh, it was, ano, um, kumbaga, the United Nations World Health Organization, okay, it's an international organization, the WHO, they facilitated the distribution of uh, vaccines to tiny and poor countries. 
in the world. So we were able to benefit from that COVAX facility facilitated by the World Health Organization. So we received uh, vaccines because we are a member of that WHO. So ona katong AstraZeneca and arrived in Philippines and I think they are donating around 30, 20 to 30 million vaccines. Pero mga 500,000 pang na, na arrive in the country if my if my memory serves me right based on my reading. So ganyan. So that's an example of a benefit that we are gaining from uh, being a member of such organiza international organizations. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. So I think that's all for today. Uh, I would like to congratulate and thank uh, everyone for coming, uh, joining our meeting for this morning. Uh, we still have three more groups to uh, report. Uh, we will do it by next week, okay? Just stay put. I will send the schedule. I hope you, are, you will agree with the schedule for next week, okay? And then, we will do it in semester. But before that, I will give you, of course, your final exam and your final output. I will give you right after we are done with all the presentations. I hope to finish all the presentations by next week. Okay, so please prepare seven, eight, and nine. Okay, understood. Okay, let's yes, have thank a. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the understanding, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, sure. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I hope you are gaining something out of this uh, virtual network meetings. But of course, you really need to read that. Don't, do not just rely on uh, our discussions, but you really need to read. Okay, so you know, okay let's have a photo ano, attendance. Can they open your camera? Okay, ready? One. Okay, one, two, three, smile. Another one. One, two, three, smile. Okay, so thank you so much. See you next week. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir.